I'm Jamie Scott. I'm the shaper for North Kiteboarding. And this is where I live. And this is where I shape. I'd say the main inspiration would have been our location when Karen and I moved here. Everything became about using what we had on our doorstep for our fun and entertainment. And surfing and kite surfing obviously are perfect things to do here. As a family, we've dedicated our lives basically to our sports. Yeah, we live here so we can access the water and the, and the wind and the beach as often as possible. I really wanted to be able to live and work where I played. I guess my strong point as a shaper is I'm still a surfer. I'm as dedicated to my surfing as I am to my shaping, so they kind of go together hand in hand. I push my surfing, I push my shaping. The better board I can make, the more fun I can have. And it's nice to be able to share that with other people as I learn more and more. To pass it on and let other people enjoy what I've worked on. Yeah, so I left school and headed to Auckland and um, yeah, I, my first job was making sales in a small loft and uh, I did a basic apprenticeship. A lot of the skills I learned making sales to do with the curves and aerodynamics now translate into what I do with surfboards and kite surfing boards. So I left the sail loft where I made yacht sails and set up a windsurfing sail loft. I'd picked up a lot of board building skills through working in a board factory as a sailmaker, so I just moved into the board building from there, basically. At the time, there was not much imported equipment, and it was quite frustrating, and it took a long time to get a custom board, and I just felt that I could improve and provide a product, and I had plenty of knowledge and hands-on experience. Obviously, I was a passionate surfer, so Everything I learned, I was putting into what I made. Basically, it started for me as an art, looking at an object and trying to recreate a similar object that looked nice was the start of my surfboard shaping. Slowly, I started to learn the numbers around the art, which then it became a bit of a science. Um, and then as the computer shaping and machines came in, it really turned into a science and a mathematical type of um, development. The art side of it got pushed aside and the um, crunching numbers and chasing the millimetres here and there was what became important. So the computer was a really exciting um, development in surfboard shaping and it got me out of the dusty shed a bit more. <laughs> I think the fact that I snowboard and kite surf and surf and skimboard and paddleboard, it gives me a really good overview of everything that's involved in feeling or the feeling that you get from the board that you're standing on. Um, the flex with snowboards and kiteboards compared to the rigidity of say a surfboard or a stand-up. Just cross-referencing everything basically has, has helped me yeah, accumulate knowledge which is helping to um, push what I do into the future.